the camera system that um, I've been using recently. Um, in November, I think it was, that I, I started to use the Fuji GFX medium format system. Um, it's it's in medium format terms, it's not as big as the Hasselblad system, um, but it's 1.7 times larger than the uh, a full frame sensor. So the the bigger the sensor, um, there are upsides and downsides. Um, the bigger the sensor, um, the bigger the pixels, less noise. The downside is um, theoretically there is less depth of field. So you have to work a little bit harder um, with um, depth of field in images. But uh, what I want to show you here is the um, the um, the upside, uh, which is um, dynamic range. Um, the dynamic range on this camera is uh, quite amazing. Um, I had the Sony system, uh, full frame Sony, but <clears throat> uh, I. I feel the images off of this are probably cleaner. Um, saying that again, it's a bigger sensor, so it has a huge advantage. Uh, the image that you can see here on the screen, um, I'll just show you um, a before and after. Um, that's the way I exposed it, um, more or less exposed it for the highlights. And um, I've just opened it up. I've opened up. I've opened it up by four stops, um, as you can see there on the left. Um, I've also opened the brightness and I've opened the shadows a little bit. And if I was to zoom in, um, you know, everything is just, once it renders, everything is just so clean. There isn't a grain of noise to be seen in the image anywhere. Just before and after. You know, so that's almost dark um, so yeah it's quite amazing um, no I, I do have to say I have done a lot of tests with the camera and um, I found shooting at 50 ISO um, yielded the best um, the best quality no noise zero noise um, now it's true to say if you explore something properly and um, even at a higher ISO you still have no noise but in this instance I didn't have the time because we arrived at the scene and you know the Sun was rising and we didn't have much time to set up and put filters on um, so you know I'm quite easily able to um, process this image you know probably double processing it or using luminosity masks to get the whole thing um, back into a very usable image. Um, I previously would have had to bracket. Um, now obviously if I had time I probably would have made two images on the day for this. Um, one image being this one for the sky and then I would have made a cleaner image for the foreground exposing everything um, much much brighter but um, as it happens you know because I've used a 50 ISO there's absolutely no need I can make the one exposure um, I can use the one exposure to make to make an image and blend it all back together again so um, yeah if there's anyone interested you know in finding out a bit more just drop me um, drop me a message um, this particular image was made using the GFX 50 S2 um, and a 20 to 35 lens. So, um, yeah, really pleased overall. Um, very pleased the fact that I, um, you know, even though I didn't make a cleaner image. Uh, for the foreground, I, I guess I had my homework done. I knew how, I knew how clean the images were, and at fifty I saw, um, you know, no noise, and um, very very usable.